South W. Dolly Correctional Facility will continue as it began as a county jail. To Garza County, the Dalby Prison is not just about criminal justice, but creating jobs. Today it holds 565 federal inmates, and in a county of just 6,000 people, it's also the largest employer. But more than 200 jobs were on the line when the county lost its federal contract. For them to lose that would lose valuable families and jobs uh, that mean uh, an, an economic opportunity to grow and stay home in, in post Texas. And they plan to keep them home by transitioning the facility from a federal prison to a county jail, inviting other counties to house their inmates here. Its federal employees will be retrained to be county jailers, and the facility will be updated to meet Texas jail standards. This transition comes in part from a major shift in federal policy. Early last year, the Biden administration directed the Department of Justice to stop renewing contracts with private prisons like this one, arguing that incarceration should not be incentivized by profit. But county leaders today argue that this facility is necessary to address a problem of overpopulation that they say is far too common in rural Texas jails and that federal policy does not line up with the economic needs of their constituents. We do have those large county jails knocking on our door. They're ready to load the buses. They anticipate the shift will almost double their capacity, offering 1,100 beds to counties who need them, and they hope continuing to grow their workforce. I say this is just another leg to the economic stool for Garza County. Now, Garza County does not have any contracts with other counties yet, but the South Plains Association of Governments says the need is there, and it's not a matter of if, but when.